how's it going, P-Pixel pals? This is Panic Pixel, home of my gaming geek and tech ramblings. You can call me Christine. So last weekend, I did something pretty interesting. I can't steal a thing. You can steal this. Oh, oh yeah, you can steal it. Sing, sing, sing. Since it seems like a lot of you have been enjoying my Hong Kong centric vlogs lately, you know, just talking about the gaming geek and tech culture here in the city and how it's kind of different from other places in the world, I've decided to try and make some more of that content for the channel. So I reached out to a company called Press Start Hong Kong, basically a startup here that's focused on tabletop games, which I found out about through Facebook because they hold like monthly board game social events. I met them at an event that they organized recently and just asked them if I could do a video with them and thankfully they agreed. Thus this video was born. Now tabletop games hold a very very special place in my heart which is why I reached out to them in the first place. I basically grew up playing Uno, Scrabble, Chess, Snakes and Ladders. At some point in my primary school life, I even started making my own board games, just like drawing with my rulers. So I was pretty much into board games as a kid. So that said, I just, I've been missing that feeling. So I was pretty excited knowing that I was going to go into this event, just playing new games, learning new things. I have to admit though, that this initial excitement to play board games again and just tap into that nostalgia, of my childhood kind of distracted me from what Press Start Hong Kong actually is. My initial thought was essentially that Press Start Hong Kong was kind of here only to build up the geek community, the whole board game community in Hong Kong. But as I found out while talking to Vincent Wesley, the two high school friends who founded this company, it was much more than that. All right, so we're here at Press Start Hong Kong. This is Wesley and this is Vince. Please tell us what Press Start Hong Kong is. We are a game design and educational consultancy. What do you mean by like educational consultant? Games are all good and fun <laughs> and you know, that's why we got into them in the first place. But beyond that, there's tremendous value, we believe, in games and how they can be used in an educational setting. Part of what we do here is unlocking that or uncovering that and just sharing it with the community here in Hong Kong. On one side, we'll design actual curriculums for, for classrooms. I guess the other side of that is even designing actual board games for, for universities to be used in their curriculum. Our end goal was supposedly education when we opened like a year and a half ago. Mm -hmm. And we were like, hey, you know what, 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 you know, wouldn't it be cool if in 10 years we can do something in education? That stuff came a year in. So that's pretty cool. Let's talk about the board game social. You hold right. this every month. So yes. like how does that fit in with everything that you're doing and like your goals for Press Start? Actually, the board game social is what Press Start is about. Or it was how we got started. That's where you back. pressed start. <laughs> that's where <laughs> uh, three years ago when Wes moved back from New York, he had a suitcase of twenty games, I think. Mm. Um, that, that he brought back and originally what we wanted to do was to find people to play games with because you know we have no friends <laughs> uh, it's pretty yeah. much we set up like events on facebook and we sent emails to our friends and like hey invite your friends come over come, come over to, to to my place to, to play some games we called this like a board game social mm -hmm. just so we had like a snazzy name for it mm -hmm. uh, but it really <laughs> really hey you know what I thought it was snazzy, okay? <laughs> Just so we would have like um, an excuse to play games with people. Uh, I think it was like three months into that, we had a mailing list of like 50 people. Wow, that's So great. we started doing them monthly and we had to move out of the apartment because it's small into a clubhouse. So we moved from finding people to play games with to teaching people how to play games and I have never played a game since. I'm not, I'm, I'm kidding, but it's actually <laughs> that progression. All right, um, then. Press Start Hong Kong is essentially a company that 
advocates for fun first education in a city that's pretty much stressed out from all the examinations and just how the system is built up. As someone who's gone through the Hong Kong education system and lost my eyebrows through all the stress, I was actually balding at some point. I really am grateful for what they are doing for the community. So I was at Press Start Hong Kong's March board game social event because I wanted to know how exactly Wesley and Vince were approaching this whole fun first teaching thing. So from 2 p.m. to 7 p.m. on a Saturday, and you know, on Saturdays I don't normally go out, so this was a pretty big thing that you know I actually went out to do something. <laughs> I played games with Press Start Hong Kong and their lovely, lovely, lovely community. I invited my sister and her hubby along as well because I know my sister loves tabletop games just as much as I do. I was initially hoping to just play one game, which is the cooperative card game Hanabi because the concept of a cooperative card game was new to me since I've always been playing like competitive ones. But Vince and Wesley managed to introduce me to a number of different games on that day. So firstly, I played Deep Sea Adventure where basically all the players share a oxygen tank in like a submarine or something and your goal was to try and collect as many treasures as possible or at least the highest value treasure as possible. I also played Cash a Catch which is basically a game where you buy and sell fish and it gets pretty like rough because you have to press a bell in order to buy the fish so it's like kind of like a game of speed but then it's also a game of knowing when to spend your money and when to sell things so that was pretty interesting and after that we moved on to a game that allowed like eight players or more to play along so that was the resistance avalon if i'm not mistaken so basically you have like bad guys and good guys and it's a social deduction game you have to figure out who the bad guys are and it's just really fun to see how people communicate and how people change when they're trying to hide something what i really enjoyed about how press start hong kong approaches these kinds of board game events is that they actually take the time to teach you how to play these games. In Hong Kong, we have a lot of board game cafes where basically they have like a huge wall of games that you can play. You just kind of grab one, hope the instruction manual is there and hope it's in English, you know, if you don't know Chinese. Spending a lot of time trying to figure out how to play the game in the first place that you don't spend a lot of time actually playing it. Other than that, I really like the fact that I got to interact with a lot of different characters on that day. Alvin from Lutaku was there and a bunch of regulars at Press Start Hong Kong's event were there as well and all of them were pretty chill in allowing me to record videos for the YouTube channel. I mean it also helped me spend some quality time with my sister and my brother-in-law. My sister never usually goes out on weekends because she's really tired from work. Having this event actually got me to like pull her out of her little dark hole of sleeping in her house and yeah I got to spend time with her. Overall I had a great time at Press Start Hong Kong's March board game social event and I really am grateful for Vince and Wesley for allowing me to take videos there and also experience their community. So if you're ever in Hong Kong and you are looking for a board game activity or if you want to get to know some locals in a very chill environment I would definitely recommend going to Press Start Hong Kong's event they have this every month near kind of like mid-ish of each month. In any case, I have all their social links in the description below so you can check that out. By the way, Press Start Hong Kong's YouTube channel hosts the very exclusive early unboxings of Lutaku because they're such good friends with Alvin. In case you missed my previous video, Lutaku is that premium anime video game and pop culture subscription box that is based here in Hong Kong. And because they do these unboxings with Alvin himself, they give a lot of in-depth information about the items and also kind of like some behind the scenes facts in how these things came together into the box. So do check them out. I want to encourage them to do more videos because I think that's pretty important for what they're doing and I think it's pretty inspirational, you know, turning a geeky hobby into something that does social good and also allows people to meet other people, you know? So I'd like to hear your thoughts, P-Pixel Pals. Have you ever experienced tabletop games? If so, what are your favorite tabletop games? And if you have never played any tabletop games, what's stopping you? I'd like to see how different our experiences are. 
Anyway guys, that's it from me today. I hope you guys have been enjoying these Hong Kong centric vlogs as much as I have been enjoying making them. Be sure to check out my previous video with the Lutaku unboxing so you know what Lutaku is. It's a pretty cool box and I got some pretty cool stuff out of it. And yeah, thanks so much for watching everybody and keep being phenomenal, P-Pixel Pals.